This video is going to be very simple. And what we have done here, just reminding you, so we have our definition of the word diatonic, which means inside the scale. We have our definition of triads. We have four different kinds of triads, diminished, minor, major, augmented. Here is the nice table we created in our previous video, all the chords in A major, the major one chord, the minor two chord, the minor three chord, the major four chord, the major five chord, the minor six chord, the diminished seventh chord, um, with all of the notes that are inside of each of those chords. And we just did it for A major. We didn't want to um, go through the full exercise of doing this for all 12 keys because that would just be tedious. Um, and over here, we have, I just took this thing and I put it horizontal chord pattern. So we've got the major one, minor two, minor three, major four, major five, minor six, diminished seven. This is like the basic pattern of chords in all major scales. And I wrote out their names here. And then this right here, this scale chart, I just took it from when we created it over here um, in our major scales video. And I chopped off the the repetition of the one on the end. So over here, all we have is the scale degrees one through seven for each of the 12 major scales. And so now with the use of a function called concatenate, I'm just gonna, if you don't know spreadsheets, that's totally okay. All I'm gonna tell the spreadsheet to do is, um, is say, please take whatever's in this cell then add a space, then put whatever's in this cell right next to it. And so we have A major. And I'm gonna go into that function, I'm gonna lock the row. And so now all I do, so the A major, so A major is the, is the one chord of A major. What's the two chord of A major? B minor. What's the three chord of A major? C minor, C sharp minor. 4 chord D major, 5 chord E major, 6 chord F sharp minor, 7 chord G sharp diminished. Pretty cool. Let's try it again for uh, E, let's do D major because we're familiar with that key now. D major, next would be, so we're looking at D major, the next chord would have to be E minor. The next chord would have to be F sharp minor. The next chord would have to be G major. The next chord would have to be A major. The next chord would have to be B minor. And the last chord would have to be C sharp diminished. Pretty cool. So if I just copy and paste this all over the place here, bam, <laughs> there it is. And I'll just, I'll make it nice and uh, actually here, I'll get, pardon me. I'll just make it so that these are um, wide enough so you can see what's going on here. What are all the chords in C major? Well, C major, D minor, E minor, F major, F ma G major, A minor, B diminished. What are all the chords in F sharp major? F sharp major, G sharp minor, A sharp minor, B major, C sharp major, D sharp minor, B diminished. And of course you notice that all the one chords are all major, all the two chords are all minor, all the three chords are all minor, all the four chords are all major, all the five chords are all major, all the six chords are all minor, all the seven chords are all diminished. And that is that. There's one more thing I want to do in this video, and that is to introduce some shorthand for these triads. So instead of writing out the full word major here, or minor, or dim, I thought that was a little bit of a shorthand, I'm just going to show you some really common symbols that are used for each of these things. So let's go back up here to our triads table. And I'm just going to give you examples in the key of A, um, or I'm going to give you the examples for the A triads. So A triads. Um, one really common shorthand that you'll see is A, uh, uh, A, Og, A, Min, A, Mage, and A, Og. And whoops, pardon me, that should be A, Dim. A diminished, a, mi a minor, A major, A augmented. Another thing you'll see is, um, you'll just see a lowercase m for minor or an uppercase m for major. And there isn't really, like, you'll never really see that. 
and you'll never really see that. So these like lower and uppercase M's is kind of all you see in that category. And then there are just some symbols that we use. So for instance, the degree symbol I've already introduced you to as denoting diminished. Sometimes you'll see a minus sign. For major, sometimes you just simply won't see, uh, well actually, you know what you'll see every once in a while, this is a, in a rare, a rare case, you'll see a delta. That means major. And then for augmented, you'll see a plus sign. Or um, for major, what you'll see is just the letter A. So like, you, there's, musicians have so many ways to write different, the same exact thing, and it's almost just annoying how many ways there are, but you will see in your life a mage, a capital M, a triangle, and just the letter A, and these will all mean A major triad. That's what they all mean. And so what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to give you the ones that I have found to be the most common. <clears throat> and they are a, um, well, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Most commonly, I will see a degree symbol for diminished. I'll see the little M for minor. I won't see any orient, um, ornamentation for major, and I'll see a plus for augmented. And so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to insert another row here and <clears throat> another one here. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to recreate this table using these symbols just so we have it nice and clean. I'm going to do it over here. So uh, let me do it like that. And I'm going to do it using the same concatenate function. So first, let me say um, for major, uh, since nothing goes after major, nothing will go here for minor, little m, minor, little m, nothing in major, nothing in major, little m, and then my degree symbol will go here. Whoops. Um, actually, just click in there. All right. So now, I want this, and I want this, and I'm going to lock that row, and here we go. So as I drag this across, I have, in A major, I have the chords A major, I have B minor, I have C sharp minor, D major, E major, uh, F sharp minor and G sharp diminished. There we have it. And if I were to do that again for, say, D major, D, E minor, F sharp minor, G, A, B minor, and C sharp diminished. Sometimes when you're hearing musicians speak, instead of saying major, they'll just say D. The chord D, we assume that it's major unless we specify that it's something else. So D, is a D major chord, E minor is an E minor chord, F sharp minor, G, A, B minor, C sharp diminished. And then of course, if I just copy this everywhere, there we have our very clean, a lot less busy than this, table with every diatonic triad in every major scale. 